first tonight, Ken Burns has produced exhaustive and engaging films over the last three decades about our shared history. The topics range from the Civil War to Vietnam, from the Lewis and Clark expeditions to Prohibition. His newest film premieres next weekend on PBS, charting the winding road of a true American art form, country music. Pat Callahan spoke with series writer and co-producer Dayton Duncan at the home of Florentine Films in Walpole, New Hampshire. One hope of the filmmakers is that maybe some people who think they don't care for country music might give it another chance. No one would call Whitney Houston a country singer, but her biggest hit was indeed a country song. Dolly Parton wrote that song at a time when she was trying to leave the Porter Wagoner TV show, breaking from the man who had helped launch her career, but whom she had outgrown. She ain't no dumb blonde, though. Pretty Miss Dolly Parton. Come on. Don't try to cry. The way that she had to tell, finally convince Porter Wagner, she decided, as she says in her film, was, I just said, I got to do what I do best. I got to tell him this in a song. And she wrote, I will always love you, sang it for him. And that's how he said, okay, you can go as long as I get to produce that song. If I should stay. It'll be a revelation, I think, to people who think of that song as a Whitney Houston song, which she took to new heights of, of popularity. But once you know that story and you hear Dolly Parton with her own great voice singing it, that will... If you already like that song, it will deepen your, your love for it and your understanding of it. Writer and co-producer Dayton Duncan says the point of the new country music series is to let the songs tell the stories. And as the artists share their memories, the word they keep coming back to is truth. Well, the great songwriter Harlan Howard describes country music very succinctly. He says three chords and the truth. And there's a truth to that in the sense that melodically it's a little simpler than say jazz or orchestral music or even pop music in certain respects. Truth can be shocking sometimes. Loretta Lynn broke taboos by speaking to women about the lives they led with songs about birth control and carousing husbands looking for sex. Liquor and love, they just don't mix, leave the bottle or me behind. And don't come home but drink it with loving on your mind. That's how it goes. And I ain't gonna be treated this way, Lord God. In country music, the truth is as simple as universal experiences. You know, falling in love, falling out of love, failure, the loss, the hoping for redemption. All of these things are very basic human experiences and emotions, but they're all very complex as well. And that country music at its best is when it's doing that. It's do, it, I think it's a delivery system directly to your heart. Well, I'll bet you I'm gonna be a big star. Country music evolves and cross-pollinates. Well, I'll bet you I'm gonna be a big star. Win an Oscar, you can never tell. With rock and roll, and even jazz. He took me right by the arm. The, these are artists, and they don't want to just continue to do the same darn thing that's been done before. They want to stretch, and they might reach over here and take a little bit of that music and apply it and create something like Western Swing, or they might take something over here and create something. And in the 1980s, the so-called new traditionalists, Ricky Skaggs, The Judds, Reba McIntyre, uh, Randy Travis, George Strait, those people said, well, we've gotten too fancy now. 
let's go back to toward our roots. Ultimately, Duncan hopes the series leads people to want to hear more of this American art form. We, you know, we don't consider any of our films as the final word on a topic. And we think of it actually as the opposite of that. We go into it saying, I want to learn, I, I cast aside any preconceptions and I want this story to reveal itself. There's that great clip where Porter Wagner introduces Dolly Parton and he says, she ain't no dumb blonde. And she has the best line about that because she's been called that by a lot of people over the years. And she said, it doesn't bother me because I know I'm not dumb and I know I'm not blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I always think it's fascinating when people talk about country music and they say, you know, oh, it's just about trucks and dogs right. and whatever. But then when you hear it in like a pop artist is playing it, like the Beatles, it sounds so different and it, it it's amazing how universal country music is. Absolutely. It's all about the emotions that everybody feels all day long. So that documentary, Country Music, premieres on public television Sunday, September 15th. And